Alright, so this next video is the scary and mysterious ancient cave paintings found in the world. What secrets do they hold and why were they made? Let's check it out. Engraved by our ancestors on the walls of times are the messages allowing us to look into the past. And pass them down to next generation. We carved them, we painted them. Sometimes portraying otherworldly beings. So you have to ask, what was it that inspired these unusual images? While the other times hiding terrifying feelings. It doesn't look like a uh, home ending. Right. So let's watch the most baffling ancient art pieces that earlier Homo sapiens have left for us. Thousands of petroglyphs that feature mysterious beings. It depicts a group of figures meeting with what appears to be an extraterrestrial. Wow. <laughs> That's incredible. Deep in the Brisbane National Park of Australia are two massive eight foot high walls engraved with over 300 ancient carvings. The mysterious site is called the Gosford Glyphs. The strange thing about these inscriptions is that they don't resemble indigenous artwork, but rather share a striking similarity with Egyptian hieroglyphs. But that's not the only thing. Among those carvings is one pretty bizarre shape. That's not supposed to be there. A classic UFO with rays of light coming out of it. It definitely has the classic UFO shape, the rays or whatever you want to call it. Many have speculated that it could be jewelry or some other symbol, but it remains an intriguing mystery as the mark doesn't fit in with the canon. One Gina Ron I thought about it being jewelry. Huh. I'm gonna have to think about that one and, and entertain that thought and see where my mind can take it with that. I never really entertained that one. Fuck art. With aliens so far ahead of us in technology, it wouldn't be surprising to find out that they reached Earth thousands of years ago. In Kimberley, Australia, archaeologists have found caves that suggest exactly that. The walls are covered in paintings of bizarre creatures called the Wangina. With big white faces and large black eyes, the entities unmistakably resemble alien greys. The indigenous people of Australia believe these figures descended from the skies to impart wisdom on the people who preserved their memory by painting them. And passed them down to next generation. We carved them, we painted them to guarantee that they passed down. Whether you believe the story or not, these chilling lifelike depictions will certainly leave a mark on you. World's Longest Art Gallery now let's talk about the world's longest art gallery in East Utah, the famous Nine Mile Canyon. Its red sandstone cliffs are covered with over 10,000 ancient petroglyphs, but one panel in particular has left experts scratching their heads, the family panel. So you have to ask, what was it that inspired these unusual images? These petroglyphs depict humanoid figures that seem to be wearing some kind of spacesuits, complete with helmets and antennas. And this isn't an isolated incident. Nearby, in Seago and Horseshoe Canyons, similar carvings have surfaced, showing strange floating figures. You have these strange creatures seem to be floating up in the sky. They appear to wear helmets very strange. According to Native American legends, these images date back thousands of years before a great cataclysm represent beings who descended from the skies to share their wisdom with humanity. Could these petroglyphs be evidence of ancient alien visitations right here in Utah? What do you think? Thousands of petroglyphs that feature mysterious beings. It depicts a group of figures meeting with what appears to be an extraterrestrial alien message. Ancient petroglyphs at an Arizona ranch have captured the attention of researchers with their strange and unique designs, leading to speculation that the ancient people might have depicted extraterrestrial encounters. One particular petroglyph closely resembles a gray alien with its triangular head and large eyes. Another portrays a towering humanoid figure with a rectangular body and curvy lines, which experts believe represent vibrations. And you see the curvy lines on the body? That always symbolizes vibration. The Anunnaki wore cloaks that had those kind of curvy lines. Many scholars speculate that these figures could represent the Anunnaki. How can you be so sure? And I'm not saying that they're not right at what they're saying. It's just when you use words like always, 
That's always what it means. How are you so sure of that? That, that always blows my mind when somebody does that. Anunnaki, powerful deities from outer space, according to ancient legends. Whether these petroglyphs are a record of actual contact with extraterrestrial beings or merely artistic expressions remains a mystery. John, this is incredible. And what I love the most is the access. I mean, I've never been face to face like this. Ancient spirals. Chaco Canyon in New Mexico was a major center of culture for the Anasazi, or the ancestral Puebla once. But in the 12th century, something very strange happened. According to archaeologists, sometime around 1130 AD, all construction stopped. While migration is argued to be one cause of this, experts think there's more to this sudden disappearance. And this is where the unusual carvings come in. A dozen spirals carved into a cliff. Many believe that these are portals or doors to different dimensions, and that this might be the reason behind the disappearance of the Anasazi people, and perhaps they were not people of this planet at all. Something that was separate. It is possible that the Anasazi are in another dimension, another timeline. Egyptian Mystery Egyptologists have developed a pretty strong hold of hieroglyphics, but every once in a while they come across something baffling, like the bizarre Abydos carvings or the helicopter hieroglyphics adorning the walls of the Temple of Seti Parts, discovered in the early 1900s. Some of the carvings bear an uncanny resemblance to modern-day vehicles like helicopters, jet fighters, and even spaceships. How come a civilization that lived a thousand years ago carved pictures of things that weren't invented yet? And you can't look at that and be like, ah, but that might, no, that looks like a spaceship, bro. It looks better, it's better than anything I could have drawn to resemble a spaceship, bro. So why would they draw that back then, hmm? Interesting, right? Well, netizens believe that they had some kind of contact with aliens, or maybe a time-traveling device was behind it. And while experts remain unconvinced, the carvings are no less real. Like the Abydos carvings, the Dendera light is also one of the most shocking discoveries from Egypt. In fact, it is so shocking that it has been called one of the most controversial finds in Egypt to date. Lying in the Hathor temple, it's an ancient drawing that depicts a man holding what looks like a light bulb with a filament inside. Egyptologists have multiple theories trying to explain the mysterious sketch. They think the bulb is a lotus flower and the filament is a snake. But that doesn't explain the cord that looks like it is attached to a power source. This has led to many fringe theories with researchers speculating if the ancient Egyptians had electricity and technology to create a light bulb. Among these ancient Egyptian wonders is the archaeological remains of the vast Karnak temple dating back to the 32 BC. Amidst its colossal structures are the interesting obelisks. The carvings adorning them have captured the attention of experts worldwide. These tapering monuments have been carved with the same inscriptions on all four sides, with all being the exact same. The obelisk is carved with the same inscriptions on four sides, and they're all exactly the same. Carved with so much precision that researchers believe it was the work of some sort of a machine. The human hand, no matter how good you are, can never do that. Experts argued that the marking suggested use of 21st century machinery. But the problem is, how did they acquire that technology all those years ago? Well, many believe aliens had something to do with it. UFO Landing Site in the San Agustin Archaeological Park in Colombia, statues resembling Hindu deities stand within the Shiva temple. Some experts suggest ancient travelers used Vimanas, extraterrestrial flying machines from the Mahabharata, to journey from India to South America. They were using the Vimanas, which is why they set up this ancient Shiva temple here. Ancient astronaut theorists point to one statue in particular, a spaceman-like figure wearing a helmet and holding a cylinder connected to the ground, similar to the tool Kila used by the Hindu god Swarna Kala Bhairava to mine gold. The theory suggests these travelers came in search of gold using advanced technology. Given the region's history as a land of gold, this idea of extraterrestrial connections becomes even more intriguing. 
millennia old petroglyph. That is amazing because we now have absolute proof of a civilization that predates. Back in 2013 in western Nevada, researchers taking samples from the dried up Winnemucca Lake stumbled upon what is now known as the oldest petroglyphs in North America. The carbon dating of these limestone carvings revealed that they were 10,400 to 14,800 years old. These ancient inscriptions have left people stumped, as some of them have quite unusual designs, the most shocking one being the spirals. Many other ancient civilizations have left similar carvings that experts have associated with the shape of galaxies, which begs the question, where did they receive that information, leading to a chilling theory? Perhaps a civilization exactly like ours existed all those years ago, and maybe the human race is just going in circles. Does the human race go in cycles? Will we one day be somebody's memory and somebody's folklore? And oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I think about that all the time. Like everything we're doing, looking for information about our past, others in the future are going to be doing, looking at our stuff, trying to figure out their past. It's all a, a cycle, bro. It's got to be a cycle, man. And also, I love when we find things that cause us to have to rewrite the history books. I, I love that. I don't know why. They think they're the first. Stone Pillar. In 2010, a team of archaeologists made a fascinating discovery amid the ruins of Gobekli Tepe in Turkey. A strange stone pillar unlike anything they had seen before. This ancient totem pole, estimated to be 10,000 years old, was later showcased in a museum, drawing experts from across the globe. The pole is carved with three distinct figures stacked on top of each other. The first, though partially damaged, is believed to depict a non-human entity due to its unusual ears. You can see the neck of the head and ear. It doesn't look like a human being. Right. The second has more human-like features, thought to represent an early form of humanity. The second figure, you can see the arm and hand. The last figure resembles a human infant. Third figure. Uh, look like a uh, home and baby. Some experts speculate this pole could symbolize the true origins of humanity, suggesting we might have extraterrestrial roots. Mayan Mysteries In the 1950s, a tomb was unearthed in the ancient city of Palonk. Inside, archaeologists discovered the stone coffin of Lord Pakal, but what truly caught their attention was the intricately carved lid. The image on the lid shows Lord Pakal in a curious pose. He's leaning forward, almost like a motorcyclist in full tilt. His nose is connected to what looks like an oxygen mask, and his hands appear to be manipulating controls, while he sits on a chair within what seems to be a capsule. This has led many to speculate that Lord Pakal may have been an extraterrestrial traveler in an advanced craft. Could this be the proof we've been waiting for? And when other people looked at that lid and saw his explanation, they, they had to agree with him. When it comes to Mayan mysteries, one of the most intriguing stories comes from the ancient Maya codices, specifically the Popol Vuh. This sacred text tells the creation tale of humanity, where two hero twins paved the way for mankind, followed by the descent of 13 gods. Among these gods, one stands out the most, the flying serpent, Kukulkan. This enigmatic figure has captured the curiosity of researchers for centuries. In various depictions, Kukulkan is shown as a serpent with a human head leading many to speculate whether this flying serpent was more than just a myth, perhaps even an advanced aircraft carrying extraterrestrial visitors. With these strange and puzzling representations, we can't help but think there was something more at play. Kukul Khan looks like a snake shooting across the sky. If you look at a modern day plane, that looks like a flying snake. All we can do is continue to wonder and speculate alien artifacts. From the level of sophistication, detail, and composed material, this piece of art is believed to be one of a kind.
A group of explorers in Mexico was exploring a long lost cave where they found amazing alien artifacts depicting a UFO, statues showing alien-like figures with carvings on them. One of them also happens to be a collector of ancient artifacts. He shared that he had been surprised by the material of pottery items. He believed it to be the work of aliens themselves. The source further added that these could be belongings that aliens might have left here on Earth hundreds of years old. Ancient Computer when they found that ancient Greek computer thing, incredibly complex, yeah. and it took a long time for them to figure out what that even is. Yeah. The Antikythera mechanism, discovered in a shipwreck off Greece in 1901, is an ancient Greek device dating to around 100 BCE, often called the ancient Greek computer. It was this is this is see this is another thing I'm hoping that when we get the opportunity to see. AI or even these robots do some incredible things. This is one of the things I hope they get their hands on and is able to possibly rebuild and show us how it functioned or how they used it back in those times. These are the things that I can't wait to see. Used to predict astronomical events and features intricate gears and dials, showcasing advanced technology far ahead of its time. Some theorists speculate that its complexity suggests extraterrestrial influence, arguing that such advanced knowledge might have come from aliens. Mainstream scholars associate the mechanism's sophisticated design to the remarkable skills of ancient Greek engineers, reflecting their advanced understanding of astronomy and mechanics rather than any extraterrestrial involvement. This was a spectacular device. It's an analog computer. This was a device that we wouldn't see again for another 2,000 years until the 1800s. Abu Simbel Temple. Back in March 1813 in Aswan, Egypt, a Swiss explorer stumbled upon three giant heads protruding from the sand. Later, a thorough excavation revealed a 3,400-year-old temple, now called the Abu Simbel Temple, which contained sculptures almost 64 feet tall, some of the largest statues ever discovered incredible temple complex devoted to Ramses the Great. These statues are colossal. Twice a year in February and October, sunlight passes through the temple entry, shining on the colossal figures carved into stone. And experts believe the purpose of these statues is more than just artistic or political. They have a theory that these figures are transmitters attracting cosmic energies. While many believe that this is purely symbolic, a few others argue that these monuments possess energy quite literally. What could possibly be the origin and purpose of the gigantic structures? If you've got any hits, let me know in the comments below. UFO Artifact Back in 1974, a group of construction workers in Romania, in a village called Owit, unearthed something truly bizarre, 30 feet deep in the sand. They stumbled upon mastodon bones, a creature that went extinct around 10,000 to 12,000 years ago. But that wasn't the most shocking part. Alongside those ancient bones, they found a strange wedge-shaped object made mostly of aluminum. Now, here's the real mystery. Aluminum wasn't discovered until 1825. Aluminum didn't come into existence until 1829. So how on earth did this object end up with bones that are over 10,000 years old? Some experts believe it could be part of a landing gear from an extraterrestrial craft. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments. Magical Artifact An Egyptian man made a mind-boggling claim. He found an ancient artifact while digging in his own backyard. The object, an egg-shaped stone said to hold mysterious, almost supernatural powers. Don't believe it? Well, take a look for yourself. When brought near electrical appliances, everything shut down. The stone wouldn't even show up in a mirror, and it somehow managed to boil water inside a jug. Impossible. 
But here's where it gets even stranger. The man disappeared shortly after posting the video. Now, people are asking, is the government involved? What are they keeping from us? So many questions and no answers. Yet. Exodus. We all know the story of Exodus narrated in the Bible, but here's a remarkable discovery that revealed the story from the Pharaoh's point of view, carved into granite. The Bible calls Moses the king, while the granite tablet mentions him as the prince of the desert. Where the holy book calls the Israelites God's people, the monument calls them evil. And then it talks about the miracle of the parting of the sea confirming what's in the Bible. Historians are excited to unravel more mysteries about the stone. Oldest Artwork Archaeologists in South Sulawesi, Indonesia, have discovered what may be the world's oldest known cave painting. The beautiful painting depicts three Sulawesi forest pigs engaged in an interaction that experts believe to be a mating ritual. According to researchers, the sketch has been made from a mineral pigment produced by crushing the ochre to a fine powder. The drawing dates back 45,500 years, making it the oldest depiction of the animal world by human hands. Insectoids. If you're a Hunter x Hunter fan, you might be familiar with insectoids, or in other word, the chimera ants. And it seems like they might not be all fiction. Across various cultures, archaeologists have found strange petroglyphs depicting insectoid beings. Big heads, long spindly arms, and what looked like antennae carved on the heads. The beings left experts puzzled. While many concluded that these were the ant people that are said to have emerged from underground to save the people of Earth during a catastrophe. Another more sinister theory is that these were aliens. But the question is, were these creatures just a figment of human imagination? Or did they actually make contact with the ancient civilizations? Your guess is as good as mine. Crop Circles Copran might be the first person, what we today call UAPs or, or UFOs, because he's describing some kind of a whirlwind is coming out of the sky and is having this effect on the ground. It's creating what we call a crop circle. Apart from ancient art, some of the most mysterious formations occurring in the world are crop circles. These are complex designs of unknown origins appearing all around the world. Crop circles are interesting to me because at one point we just, we're, we seem to say, Okay, they're not alien related. They're farmers being creative, this, that, and the third, right? But then we always seem to double back and not let the whole alien angle die. We don't. We continue to perpetuate it and say that, hey, it's still a possibility that these could be alien symbols or something like that to that nature. We do. We always double back. to That's like we cannot stick with one thing when it comes to crop circles. Why is that? It's, it's frustrating. These pictographs are so huge that they sometimes span hundreds of feet across a whole field and are arranged with such mathematical precision that it's hard to believe they might be man-made. They tend to be complicated designs of unknown origin. Multiple witnesses have claimed to see strange lights in the sky. UFOs, they said, hovered over the fields, leaving behind mysterious circular patterns. No one truly knows how these shapes were formed. A clever hoax or evidence of extraterrestrial visitors? You decide. Prehistoric Cartoons If you think the first movie was shown in a theater, then you haven't heard of the legendary Chauvet Cave. Hidden within a steep valley in southern France, this cave remained sealed for 20,000 years until its discovery in 1994. Inside, the walls are adorned with breathtaking, lifelike paintings of animals. Horses, aurochs, woolly rhinos, mammoths, lions, and bison. It's one of the most extraordinary collections of cave art in the world. What truly captivated researchers was the attention to movement in these paleolithic masterpieces. Some animals, like a galloping bison, were drawn with eight legs instead of four to depict motion, almost like frames of animation. Experts believe this Stone Age cinema holds a deeper narrative, and they're working hard to uncover its ancient secrets. Lizard Men you know that famous conspiracy theory about reptilian humanoids? 
Well, it seems like that isn't so recent. These curious sculptures discovered in Iraq date back to the Ubaid period that makes them about 7,000 years old. They look human-like, but with unmistakable lizard-like features. Elongated heads, slit-like eyes, and snouts instead of human mouths. The question is, are these a figment of a human imagination or a preservation of an actual historical event? Mainstream archaeologists believe they are purely symbolic, while others think there might be more to this story. But what do you think? I'm of the others that think it's more to the story. Possibly, uh, I don't know, reptilian maybe? That's, that's the type of vibes it gave me. Disc of Sabu. I'm sure it's hard to believe that an object like this could have something to do with ancient Egyptians, but that's where it was found back in 1936, in the tomb of an ancient Egyptian named Sabu, from where it got its name, the Disc of Sabu. Dating back to 3000 BC, this artifact is simply labeled as a decorative piece by the museum it's displayed in. But experts have different opinions. Many believe that it's a part of some machine created by the Egyptians, but nobody really knows its actual purpose. Neanderthal art? Art is thought to have originated around 30,000 years ago, credited to the creative mind and hands of our ancestor, Homo sapiens. But a recent discovery in the Touraine region of France might rewrite that history. A team of prehistorians exploring an unknown cave stumbled upon some unexpected engravings, shapes such as triangles, rectangles, and parallel lines, with some seemingly drawn at random. Could these markings actually have been made by Neanderthals? Experts aren't sure yet, as the discovery is still fresh, and further analysis is needed to determine whether these engravings are truly authentic. Mystic Message Back in 1842, a British archaeologist was excavating a library at the ancient city of Nineveh when he found a royal archive containing several clay tablets with cuneiform inscriptions. Dating back to 3000 BC, they are the oldest form of writing ever discovered. They've also been translated, revealing interesting stories about how gods came in contact with human beings and even created us. However, many mainstream archaeologists dismiss it as mere myth. Some have argued that it might actually actually be authentic, as many similar stories can be traced in other historical and religious texts. Cave of Hands In Argentina, there's a cave dating back 9,000 to 13,000 years, known for its stunning collection of handprints, hence the name, the Cave of- Oh, it really is. I was wondering, I was interested to see how this was going to turn out and what, what was it going to be, but it really is a cave of Hands. That is the creepiest find I've seen on this video. Cave of hands. Wow. Of hands. These ancient paintings were created by stenciling hand outlines using paint blown through bone tubes. With over 800 handprints in shades of black, white, red, and ochre, the cave holds one of the most elaborate displays of ancient art. But what do they mean? The truth is, no one knows for sure. However, experts suggest that these prints might have been part of a coming-of-age ritual, as most of them belong to young boys. The work is believed to be associated with a coming-of-age ritual and that the colors have meaning. Quite different from these ancient artworks were the prints that left experts shocked. Found in the White Mountains of Wyoming were marks carved into the stone, made by nothing else but bare hands. These deep-set handprints were made into solid sandstone, as if our ancestors had found a way to soften rocks. Another theory circulating around the archaeological community is that the individuals were in so much pain that they clutched the stone so hard, leaving these marks behind. Did our ancestors possess supernatural powers, or was there something more sinister at play here? I'll let you be the judge. Ringing Rocks A man trekking through the Algerian desert came across an unusual boulder. It made a ringing sound when struck with a stone, as if it was hollow from the inside. 
Many others shared their own experiences after watching the video. Some suggested that it could be an ancient melted bell, while others believed it was a source of energy for the ancient people. Well, I guess there's not much that we know about our world. Anti-witch marks. Here we've got a chamber which is absolutely covered in witch marks. Deep inside the caves at Creswell Crags, the walls are packed with mysterious carvings dating back hundreds of years. At first, these marks were mistaken for graffiti, but recent analysis revealed that these are anti-witch marks. The ancient Latin inscriptions are so many that they almost overlap with each other, showing the desperation of the people who carved them. Experts believe these were to ward off not only witches, but evil spirits and demons of all kinds. Could this really mean that actual witches and other supernatural creatures existed? Or was it just superstition? However, looking at the telltale signs in the marks makes me believe that they were very much real. The evil spirits would rise out of these depths, and the purpose of the marks was to trap them, preventing them from escaping into the outside world. Asteroid Watch. His name is my first watch. Is an asteroid. If you like to be the center of attention in a room, then this piece of luxury is for you. All the way from the asteroid belt, this stunning watch was carved from the Greco-Geneve asteroid that fell in Argentina. Unlike any watch you've ever seen, with predator-inspired hieroglyphics and looking like it belongs from the Stone Age, this watch is an iconic piece. Bizarre find. Every time something like this crops up on the internet, we're reminded of how little we know about the past and our own ancestors, and it seems like they were way more advanced than we think. Strange artifacts were discovered in a cave, crafted from some shiny material with bizarre carvings on them. Nobody was able to figure out what these things were created for, and while many theorized it was an underground ritual site, Others remained unconvinced, arguing that the old age had better technology than we do. Have we been misled by the historians, or is this just a hoax? Emerging Road in 2020, something truly unbelievable happened along the coast of Sakhalin. During low tide, a mysterious ancient stone road appeared from beneath the water, stretching out into the sea. Curious residents flocked to the site even walking on the road for a while before it sank back into the ocean, vanishing as quickly as it appeared. Experts were left speechless, unable to explain how such a road could rise to the surface. Speculation online went wild, with some suggesting it was the pathway to a long-lost underwater castle, possibly the realm of mythical beings. What do you think it could be? Let me know your take. Neolithic Art the Cave of the Deer is an important prehistoric site in Italy that hides one of the richest collections of Neolithic art. The amazing rock art adoring the walls is more than 4,000 years old. Paintings of various objects and figures fill the walls. Many are human figures shown in action, like hunting or performing rituals. Some depict animals and even geometric shapes whose meaning is unknown. Today, we call them rock art but back then, they might have held a different meaning and purpose. Archaeologists are thrilled to decode the real meaning behind these symbols and marks. Green Stone In central Turkey, among the ruins of an ancient temple lies a mysterious green boulder, which the locals believe to possess magical powers. This is the Green Stone of Hattusa, Roughly a cubic block of jade just standing in the temple that dates back to the Late Bronze Age. This 2,200-pound piece of rock is very out of place in the area, as it is the only green stone in the region. Many experts believe that it held a religious significance for the people, while others have theorized it was a ceremonial altar or a throne for the king. But the actual identity of this mysterious rock may remain hidden forever. Aliens in Peru Archaeologists in Peru have made a mind-boggling discovery, what some are calling an underground alien art gallery. Sounds unbelievable? See for yourself. 
Hidden deep within the Andes Mountains, the entrance to this gallery was sealed and had to be opened using heavy machinery. Once inside, researchers found narrow, winding caves that revealed sculptures of alien-like beings, often referred to as greys, with cryptic inscriptions on them. Even more astonishing was the discovery of an ancient book filled with strange sketches and a language no one has been able to decipher yet. While some were convinced of the gallery's extraterrestrial origin, Others argued it might be an art installation, but look at the also look at the elongated skull. If I can go back to it real quick and see, that's just showing kind of see it a little bit. But drawings on an elongated skull is pretty interesting to me as well, and that gives a glimpse into why some of these civilizations might have been doing it as well. What are your thoughts on this? Humans and dinosaurs? A shepherd looking for one of his animals came across what could be a groundbreaking archaeological discovery. It was a group of caves. Their walls were covered with prehistoric art depicting hunting scenes. Alongside human figures, there were a few paintings that looked like dinosaurs. But didn't they go extinct way before the existence of man? Carbon dating revealed that the Dino art was actually much older than the others in the area. Experts have said it could be the interpretation of some modern animal. But others refuse to believe that arguing there could be a possibility that humans and dinosaurs used to coexist. That part. See, I love when we rewrite the history books. Here's another example of that. And I just like the fact that we, we could have possibly coexisted with these dinosaurs, man. That's, that's, that's just incredible to just imagine us, okay, this is what we're, we're, we're having to deal with, and we're going to survive this. Evidence of Aliens the origin of this alien artifact is a mystery just as peculiar as the aliens themselves. A man trailing to a forest in an undisclosed location where he claimed to have discovered this large alien head made of pottery material. The finishing was done with a greenish-blue color and detailed carvings all over. The man was unclear if these were some kind of hidden messages or a map. In the center of the skull artifact around the forehead was what looked like a trigger button of some kind. This raises the obvious question if this was just some artifact or something completely sinister. Here's another video featuring something equally bizarre. It looked like a puzzle with miniature figures and other strange objects fitted inside a board. There's not much known about this strange artifact leading people to speculate. Some theorized they might be keys to some secret doorway, while others speculated that it was a long-lost kit of some sort left behind by the aliens. But in the end, they're all just theories. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. Open Discussion A few years ago, old tomb was discovered in Giza, which is believed to belong to a lady named Hetpet, thought to possess a high rank in the royal palace. She was a priestess to Hathor, the goddess of fertility. The tomb consisted of vivid wall paintings depicting Hetpet's life. It showed her engaged in activities like hunting, fishing, and dancing. Archaeologists hope to make new discoveries as they continue to excavate the site. So what do you think? Are these ancient artworks evidence of extraterrestrial life? Or are they simply products of human imagination? Thank you very much for watching the video.